Hi guys, you might know I have a bit of a thing for making camera mounts for my action cameras, all various sorts. They're handy for my tripods, quick release, just clip them in and out. Uh, that one's on a kitchen timer. Gives us a 360 degree panorama. Uh, these are going on my radio controlled uh, Land Rover. Can't remember what it is. M9, I don't know, something or other. That fits in the uh, back. Uh, all sorts. Anyway, a little while back. I made this one and the idea of this one is it actually sits on my 3D printer um, print bed, whatever they call it, so that you can do a very close up video of the 3D print printing. So that just slots onto the bed, so you get very close up. But there is a bit of a disadvantage in printing something like that, because it's actually going to sit on the bed, which is hot. And when this gets hot, it goes soft again. You might be able to see there's some little indentations there. That's I'll use a One of these bulldog clips or whatever you call them stationary clips to actually hold it clamp it in place so that when it goes soft it still stays where it was put but it did occur to me doing that how about making a camera mount that clips onto the bulldog clip so um, we can stick something like that on the bulldog clip so that gets warm and I mean eventually it'll get warm all the way up there but it won't be like that getting warm and then slowly dropping off the back of the print bed so had a little think and printed one of these cup and ball bits these are standard bits on um, Tinkercad. Well, I've modified that one slightly, but they're standard sizes. So what I thought was that can go on top of there. That can go on the back of it. I can put a nut and a bolt through there to hold it in place. And then this one, because I've got so many of these already, and some of them are... Um, redundant. In fact, I think that's the one I've decided to use. I've obviously cut it to fit something at some time. But I can just super glue that straight on there just to see if it works. And if it does work, I can always <laughs> print one with it already on there. But then that will give us a bit of adjustment as well. So I just need to drill these out a little bit because the nuts and bolts I've got are a bit too big. If I'd have thought about it, I'd have checked my nuts and bolts before I printed it, but I didn't. I haven't got to drill it out by much. In fact, I could actually screw it through and that probably work. Except that's got to go right in there. Yeah, I'll have to drill that out a bit so the head sits down in. That'll go right way through and then we'll have a nut underneath there. Right, I'll do that. I'll drill them out and then we'll 
stick it together. Well, it's almost right, but I did make a basic mistake. The piece that I've glued onto here is a fixing one, not a swiveling one. What it means is there isn't any clearance underneath it, so it can it can swivel that way, but it can't go forwards and backwards, which is what I was intending it to do. It should have had a slightly longer shaft on it. So what it means is I haven't got the up and down adjustment that I'd intended to have. So that was a mistake. I can get round it, but uh, yeah, that was a bit of a silly mistake, that. But that'll only take another a few minutes, probably an hour, to print them again, but print a different piece. So we've got the the bit of a neck on it, neck on it, so it can actually turn up and down. Turn that way, okay, but it's up and down we want. But the theory worked. That fitted on there. That screwed up nice and tight. I could just bend that down if I wanted, and that would do the same job. But I'd rather have it adjustable. So what I could do is I could I could print one of those with the adjustable foot on it. Although it's easier to print that on its own, because if I print it as part of that, I'll need support structure underneath it. Which is not a problem, but just gluing it straight on works just as well. Anyway, because that is on there good and solid. That's going to come out of the clip properly, rather than pull off of there. So, wrong, but a handy little learning session. Hi guys, back again. So this was version one, and stupid me had used the wrong piece just here. We needed a gap under it so we could actually turn it. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, you might notice I've got yellow paint on my fingers. That's from a different project. So we now want to glue that on instead of that. Of course, I've super glued that and there's no way that's coming off unless I cut it off or use a hot knife or something. So we use this one because this is a scrap one as well. So I'll trim it down, probably with a hot knife, and glue that one on there and we'll give that a try. Right, I think you can see the difference now. Instead of that round plate butting up straight against here, we've now got movement. So we can adjust the angle. Because when we clip that on the bed, that could move around quite a bit so we really do want to be able to adjust that angle the only question now is is that tight enough or is that going to go loose when it's printing and there's only one way to find out which is to go and film it printing stuff so we'll find out if it's jerking backwards and forwards too much then it probably will loosen that and I expect the fix there is I'll probably super glue that in place when I've chosen a good angle, which rather defeats the object of having a ball and socket pivot point. But uh, yeah, that'll do. Well, I've set it up. First thing I had to do was stick a pencil underneath the bulldog clip to hold it up otherwise it was going to drop down at the back here and get in the way of the pulley. So
so that wasn't a good start. Um, yeah, we're set up looking in the right direction. I'll start it running on time lapse. But it's quite a long print, so we're not going to include that, or I probably won't include that in the main video. Because we'll have to wait too long. We'll see. I might, I might uh, delay editing the video so we can actually add some of that into it, just so we can see what effect it had. I think we do have a problem. I think this is going to be too loose. So going to end up probably gluing that so it doesn't flop around and as I say that's a bit of a backward step because I actually wanted that to be adjustable so we might have to do a version 3 one with a clamp on the side of it so we can actually adjust the angle still that's the setup at the moment we'll find out if it works That's not a good start. I forgot about that. Obviously you have to make sure that the camera is not going to foul the operation of the printer. Now that one that I'd 3D printed that stuck out this way, that came well back. Whereas this is getting a bit close. It won't get any closer. But uh, I'm glad I stopped to watch it start. I did have a disaster once where I had the camera sitting on the bed and it got jammed underneath so be aware that's what I wanted to see whether this shakes around too much with that movement Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.